Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video. Today, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to solo the Demon Spider Boss. Of course, you can fight this hand-to-hand, -hand, but there is an easier way to do it, and that is what this video is all about. So if you folks enjoy this video, please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. And, of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. So, with all that out of the way, the way we're going to go about it, or the way I'm going to go about it in this video, is through the use of a trap. Now, I already have designed and perfected, I suppose, a little bit of a trap that I like to use with these bosses. And uh, that is what the main focus of it is. And as you'll see, it does take down the boss quite quickly. Now, obviously, for this, I'm also using a Thrall. It is a Tier 4 Thrall, and it is a Captain. So, obviously, it doesn't matter what Thrall you use. You can equip them with whatever weapon you wish. And in this case, I've put on a Legendary Bow and, of course, some Snake Arrow. So, let me just get back up here. I wanted to remove the uh, or re-enable the user interface. As you can see, this is a trap. That's where the demon spider boss is. And so I'm going to show you what this guy looks like. I'm going to show you how to kite it. The moment I get close to it, it will wander about. First things first, its location is here on the map. So that's where the boss is itself. And this is where I built my trap, so I'm going to have to cut it kind of like to this area right there, and then make a run towards the trap. I did want to build the trap far away from the boss. I don't really want it affecting spawns and all that. Over here, I have, as I said, my Black Hand Captain. As you can see, she's got a good bow on her. She's also got snake arrows, so three stacks of snake arrows. She won't need it all, uh, but... That is what it is. So I'll let her do the dotting. I will use normal arrows and maybe snake arrows or whatever arrow you fancy. But we'll see how it goes. So this is the spider demon. And it is doable on foot if you want to. You will need a lot of healing potions. And it does have quite a decent range on its front attacks. So you'll probably want to hit it once or twice with a heavy attack, then roll away. The problem with it is it does drop a cloud of corruption, which is never good because it reduces your stats. So that is why I'm going to use that trap. I want to stay well aware of it. And with that trap, of course, you can stay out of its uh, attack range, but also have it aggroed on you so that it's focused on the trap so this is the trap it is one of my usual traps it is a five by eight foundations with the outside of the foundations of course being stacked up so it kind of ends up looking like a u-ship then we have this little funnel thing going out of palisade walls and so on the outside we also have some uh, ceilings. Now, this is what you want to pay attention to. Notice where I place my foundations. I place them just basically enough to give me a gap. So, if you place it like I did in this video with the edges um, just just there on the lines of the foundations where I showed you, you should be able to fit through, but the spider shouldn't. Now, obviously, here I have a base in case things go wrong. Obviously, this is quite an easy one to do. And at the top, I have the archer, or in this case, obviously, my thrall is going to start peppering it with arrows the moment it's in range. Obviously, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kite it in, and then, obviously, once my Thrall starts peppering it, it will take the aggro off of me. I'm not going to waste too many arrows on the uh, boss itself. All I want to do is bring it into the trap. Okay, so, with the plan in hand, let's go and bring the boss to the trap trap him in obviously for this you will need at least a foundation i have several just in case things go wrong okay first things first that over there is going to be a problem we don't want too many things to deal with we just want the boss so might as well sort this one out before we get into trouble with it how's that sorted 
Now. Where is that boss? There it is. As usual, I'm going to try and kite this from as far as possible. I don't know what it's doing at the moment. We definitely hit it. Oh, it's coming. So I'll wait for it to catch up a bit. As you can see, it's not particularly fast. Okay, I think it needs a bit of a reminder. I don't know if that hit. It didn't look like a hit. That's alright. Perfect, it's in line with the trap. I'm just going to run through the palisade walls. Wait for it here. Okay, hold on a second. In this case, just wait over inside the trap with the palisade walls. At the moment, my archer's missing, so that's what the problem is. Whoop. There we go. So just wait for the spider to take aggro from the archer. Or the archer to aggro it. So at the moment, it seems happy. I'm just going to walk around gently. There we go. As you saw, it's not particularly fast, so I can beat it to the end. That's why I wanted it to be a bit of a longer trap. At the moment, as you can see, it's already got several stacks of poison on it. So now I'm going to try and get it to hit. There we go. And now it's got two dots on it. It's got the bleed from the palisade walls and the poison from the snake arrows, which my crawl is using. As you can see, its health is going down pretty quick. I am well within safe distance. It's not actually doing any damage to any structures, although it's trying to hit me. But that's a good thing. Obviously, if in your case it damages structures, remember to repair after the fight. And, uh, yeah, from this point forth, it's quite simple. It's just a matter of waiting. And, obviously, as with all bosses, when you do kill it and harvest it, you will get a skeleton key for a chest, which I will show you the location for after the boss fight. Obviously, you'll need to be level 60 to unlock the chest or access the chest or loot the chest with the key, whichever way you want to look at it. And the chest normally yields a legendary weapon. So at this point in time, there's not really much point for me to fire on it. My bow is about to break anyways. I should have looked at that. But we did get it into the trap. It is going down. And as you can see, it's going down pretty darn quick. It's not cast any of its ability, so it's not done the lunge, which it does. It's not done the cloud of corruption, because I'm not within range for it to do that. It is trying to reach me with its front claws or legs or whatever you want to call those, but unsuccessfully. And obviously, with the palisade walls, the ones that uh, create the narrow gap, I normally tend to place them at about a foundation and a half to two foundations before the steps. But that gives it enough space for it to retain aggro on me whilst also allowing me to go up the steps and obviously be at a safe distance. Now if I need to move around I can use the outer ceilings to uh, reposition it as it is focused on me and so with that of course I can reposition it so that it continues taking damage from the palisade walls. Also, the good thing about this trap is that by using it, you're not having to deal with the other spiderlings around this area. Uh, you're not having to manage your stamina. It's just a walk in the park. You basically, once it's in the trap, you just wait for it to die. You don't even have to shoot at it. I'm only doing it for my own entertainment. Uh, the arrows that I do uh, use do a bit of damage, but not significant. And, of course... To unlock the snake arrows, you need the second tier of the set altar, uh, which will then unlock the snake arrows, and they're made out of twigs. So, very, very cheap to make, incredibly effective for the poison that it stacks up, which, you know, if you stack up 10 uh, poisons, or if it gets a stack of 10 poison, it will go down pretty darn quick anyways. 
you'll kill pretty much anything with that. <laughs> All you need to do is obviously stay out of danger, which is what this trap is about. My bow is now broken. Um, so I guess that's the end for me. I just realized I have some more bows. Uh, do I want to use that or just wait it out? I mean, it's going to die. It's nearly dead. It hasn't taken that long. And I'm on my way to getting that skeleton key. Well, it's kind of boring just looking at her, so I'm just going to use some, some more arrows. What am I? Okay. Uh, where's my other arrows? It's already equipped with some arrows, so I might as well just... I don't know. I want the iron head arrows. There we go. Don't have very many of those, so I'll be using them sparingly. Well, not anymore, because it's nearly dead. <laughs> I'm just going to start peppering it as well. There we go. And it's down. Time to harvest it and get the skeleton key along with all the other goodies that this thing has. Now, a big issue with the thralls is that sometimes they tend to aggro on things they cannot reach, as you can hear in the background. Uh, in that case, I normally just leave it and remove the snake arrows. I don't want it wasting the snake arrows, but I'm not that bothered about it. At this current time, I'm just going to try and use a pick to show you what you can get with a pick. You can get some chitin on top of that, which is always good. Obviously, try and do that uh, harvesting when you're not in the spikes because you'll end up like me with very little health remaining. Okay, so that is it. Uh, as you can hear, my thrall is still firing at stumped and it's primarily hitting the wall but that is it for this particular video folks and with regards to the boss's chest it is actually located next to the shipwreck where the boss spawned if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos also for those interested you can always find me on the Seftopia discord link to this of course you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself until next time stay safe folks <laughs>